Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're at Highfield Grange in Essex and we're staying in a Bulma caravan. I paid about £124 for this last year in the November sale, which I thought was an absolute steal. We're here in June, although I appreciate this video won't go out until probably September because I'm a little bit behind on my editing at the moment. I'll give you a quick look around. This is the living area. I feel like there should be a display unit or a coffee table in that big open space there. Dining area. Part of the kitchen and down there is the bathroom and the two bedrooms then from this angle you can see the other half of the kitchen this feels very much like a haven saver caravan i think what i like most about this caravan is the twin bedroom it's absolutely huge compared to caravans we've stayed in in the past standard master bedroom which looks to be pretty much the same size as the twin room bathroom with shower all fairly standard now that I've shown you around our caravan, I'll take you for a wander around the park and show you some of the main facilities. And then we're going to go and do the morning entertainment, which I think is a craft activity. As you enter the park, the swimming pools and the play park are on the right. There's enough here to keep the kids amused while you drink a well-deserved coffee. There you are! I go trotting now! I miss being a kid. The play parks were so much more fun back then. Let's head up a bit further towards the main facilities. The nice thing here is that all the facilities are in one place, so you haven't got to walk from one end of the park to the other just to do the different activities. First up, we'll go and have a look at the arcade. I spy with my little eye my favourite penny machines. To pee or not to pee, that is the question. We don't usually play these machines, but every so often I give Jess a pound for them. I think that's technically cheating. Let's leave the arcade and go and check out the Boathouse restaurant around the corner. On-site ice cream van. This all looks fairly new and well maintained. Nice nautical theming in here. The bar is back there on the right. I assume they have live entertainment here sometimes given the small stage. And next to the entrance is the Nissa store. Next to the boathouse is Time Out, but I'm not sure if that's an owner's only bar. And then just down there a bit further is the fish and chip shop. This is the main show bar. It's bigger than it looks in here, but I bet it gets very crowded in the evening and at summer holidays. This bar area looks fairly small, especially for peak season when everyone is queuing to get a drink. Clever idea having the merch shop in the entertainment venue so kids can see it all night and bug you for a new toy while you're trying to enjoy a drink. Today they're making wristbands. And you colour them in and then swap them with a newfound friend. Nia and Gordon soon heard Thomas cries for help, but Thomas was stuck so deep in the mud that engines couldn't reach him. His job was too big, even for the ski team. over and try and go swimming we weren't able to pre-book it because by the time I got the email and then went online all the spaces have gone but the lady at reception said try and turn up and hopefully you'll be able to get in the overflow and I think we're even going to try and brave the outdoor pool which I'm told is heated and lovely and warm well we'll see they've got a flume slide here if you're big enough and we can get in are you going to go on it yeah and what else are you looking forward to swimming with mum Swimming with me, okay. Anything else? No. Go on then, do a quick cartwheel because I know you're dying to. 
Let's see she doesn't fall over. Hey, not too bad. And a handstand, right, that's enough. The Arts and Crafts and Activity Centre is next to the pool. We've done a lot of these now, having spent so much time at Park Dean over the past few years. Some swimming essentials for sale, but you are going to pay a little extra for the convenience of having them here. You need to pre-book the Arts and Crafts and they are a pay extra activity. A quick look at the indoor pools. Having indoor and outdoor pools doubles the capacity in the summer months, which I bet is a great addition, especially for the bigger parks. You can see the play park here on the left, and as I pan round, you can see the pools. It doesn't look that big, but you can fit a fair few people in here. Is it warm, Jess? had a lovely swim and I think that's probably the warmest outdoor pool we've ever been to and that includes Spain last week. So normally over Saturday evening we would go over to the evening entertainment but because we didn't finish swimming until gone five o'clock and then we had to come back and get showered and changed it's now really late and we've mid the, missed the kiddies disco so instead we're going to try the on-site chippery which is about all five caravans that way and we'll let you know what the food's like instead. So this is our caravan and just down there where that blue bit is, that's the fish and chip shop. This is a large portion of chips with a jumbo sausage. And that's a portion of cod bites. You enjoying your dinner, Jess? Yeah. What do you think of the sausage? Delicious. 100%. And, and the chips are really nice, aren't they? Because they're kind of flat and crispy. Yeah. Also 100%. So you'd recommend them? Yeah. Two big thumbs up. An early observation is there's a lot of what I'm going to call free range children zooming around on electric scooters and hoverboards. And I've been nearly knocked over twice today. The only other slight negative is that people don't seem to care as much about their volume as they do at other parks. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a party going on in a caravan about two or three down and it's now ooh, quarter to midnight. So this is probably not the best park if you want somewhere nice and chilled and relaxed. Having said that, we are having a great time and I'm really looking forward to seeing what tomorrow brings. Good morning. I think we've been really lucky with caravans in the past because this is the first caravan that we've stayed in where we've had a slight problem with ants, but we did get this note in our welcome pack. So yesterday I popped over to reception to let them know and they sent someone straight out to put down some more ant powder and that seems to have solved the problem for now. So, tip-top service from Park Dean. This morning we are off to the kids' entertainment, and today's one is called Pip and Posy, and they seem to really concentrate on the whole friendship vibe, which I'm really pleased about, because I love it when Jess makes new friends, and for years and years she's been talking, oh, do you remember when we went to so-and-so, and I had that caravan friend called blah blah blah, and it's lovely that she still remembers them, so uh, hopefully she can make some more friends this morning. Once they've finished playing the giant game of Snap, they've now got these activity sheets with individual games on they can take home with them. And a push out and make head mask. 
How we doing? Let me see when she put them on. We're gonna do our last sing along. caravan to get something to eat we had looked at having the sunday lunch in the restaurant but to be honest it's 14.99 and that's more expensive than toby carvery so instead we're going to have a quick sandwich here and then we're going to head over for afternoon bingo and change up the arcade tokens that we won yesterday and see what prizes jess can get we were inspired by scoops yesterday so we went to Lidl's and we brought some ice cream and some cones that cost us about three pounds fifty and it's done nine ice creams as opposed to just one from there. Is it nice? Yeah. What flavour is it? You remember? Rum and raisin. We bought these dummy tickets from a stationer so that Jess can play along and feel included. Quick stop off at the arcade to try and make a few more tickets. Please call attendant. Coin accept malfunction. Please call attendant. Coin accept malfunction. Please uh -oh. call attendant. Coin accept malfunction. How many tickets have you got? One million. A million? Yes. Don't think it's quite right. Let's go change them up and see how many you've got. Not a bad haul for 200 odd tickets. afternoon after bingo there was Narky's story time and Jess really enjoyed that and she got a character photo and then it was spotlight which was a Taylor Swift tribute act she was very very good and I was surprised at how busy the venue was considering it was a Sunday afternoon now we're going to get changed and have a light bite to eat and then go over for the kiddies disco and I think there's a 90s tribute act tonight and you know how I love my 90s music Okay, so if you would like a photo with Sparky, come and see us at the side of the stage. Just have a sex over here. Right, we're Here we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you.
Parade has been on my wish list for a while now. I've seen great reviews for their Halloween events and after coming this weekend I think we'll definitely be back. There's a fair amount to do. The only thing that Jess missed was the soft play area but other than that we've had a great time. So I wouldn't be surprised if we come back in the future for Halloween or maybe just another cheap break. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you did then please give it a like. If you want to see more from me in the future then click the subscribe button right here and if you want to see more from me right now why not watch one of my other videos. And don't forget, if you carry on watching, I'll carry on travelling. Bye!